Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast. This week I'm using the Green Tree deck again. This is my Wildwood tarot deck. And so let's just get started. On Monday, it looks like we're coming into the week with a struggle. It feels like the struggle has been going on for the last few days. And so we are still working on this on Monday as we come into the week. Um, still keeping our hopes, still moving forward. Um, still resistance coming at us, but we are not losing hope. We are going through. All right, so Tuesday, what we have here coming up is the moon on water. Now this tells me that something is gonna be happening for us on Tuesday, Scorpios, that is going to rouse our passions, get our fires burning. Uh, for some of us, this means we are gonna have a really, 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 really hot night behind closed doors in the bedroom, woohoo. For others of us, this is just going to be something that we are very passionate about coming up. So this may be a day when we are really pursuing a hobby, or it may be a day when we're pursuing a project at work that we're really passionate about. But this is a day of great chemistry. This is a day of really fully engaging with something in a very um, happiness-making, positive, enthusiastic, high-energy way. So Tuesday, fantabulous-looking day. Wednesday, Queen of Stones, we have the bear coming up. Now this is telling me that we have some decisions to make on Wednesday. Wednesday we're going to be really, excuse me, we're going to be really looking at a situation where we're trying to figure out, hmm, am I staying with every, what I know, which is old and familiar and comfortable, and I know exactly how to manipulate it the way I need to to get things done? Or... Am I going to go out and do something totally and completely new that's not so comfortable but may turn out to be even better than this thing that I am comfortable with at this point in my life? So on Wednesday we have that decision to make. It looks like we're going to make that decision. Not sure which way some of us are going to go. Some are going to decide one way. Some are going to decide another. Kind of just depends on your life path is what I'm feeling like. But we do have, we all are facing this decision on Wednesday. Now, Scorpios. Thursday, here's what we have coming up for us. Six of bows, this shows up as abundance. So there's going to be something Thursday that happens that we're just going to feel like we have enough to do what we want with at least one particular situation, if not for the whole day. Okay, now I've had this card come up for somebody who had just gotten a whole bunch of video equipment and her big thing was uploading videos on YouTube. So she was all excited and she felt like she had everything that she needed to do to do it. And no, that wasn't me. It was somebody else before I ever started doing this. Um, so this is an example of what kind of things this card can indicate. So this just means that, you know, you just, there's something that you're working on that you feel like you have all, all the resources that you need to make sure it gets accomplished. Okay, so that was Thursday. Friday, what do we have? We have the Hooded Man in reverse. <sighs> Scorpios, most of us are very empathic and uh, highly intuitive. And so a lot of times we feel the need to be grounded and it's really hard for us to be around a lot of other people. It just saps our energy a whole lot. So what I see going on here on Friday is we are really feeling the need <laughs> to get away from people, to get some alone time. It's time to have some me time, some downtime, some time to re-energize and recharge. So this is time to kind of sneak away and do our own thing coming up on Friday so that we can start feeling renewed and refreshed once again. Now, Saturday what we have coming up is the Ace of Stones, but it's in reverse. This is called the Foundation of Life in this deck. What I feel like is going on here is a couple of different things for some of us. Um, for some of us, what's going to happen is we are actually going to be passing along a gift to someone on Saturday. We're going to be giving somebody something that they clearly didn't earn, but we just wish to give it to them out of the kindnesses of our own hearts. Look at us, Scorpios. And everybody says we have stingers. <laughs> okay, now here's the other interpretation for the rest of us, because I feel like this is a half and half. About half of us get one and half of us get the other. For the rest of us, this is a, a sign that there's going to be something that happens that kind of makes something that we thought was safe and secure and solid in our life that kind of turns it on its head so it's not so safe and secure and solid. So, um, yeah. Could be one of two things. Could be given a gift or could be um, starting to see that something we thought was solid is really more like quicksand. All right. So Sunday, though, is a fantabulous day. No matter what kind of day you had on Saturday, Sunday is fantabulous. And Sunday is fantabulous because it's a day when we are feeling totally empowered, enlightened, um, enabled, encouraged, supported, uplifted, and we're feeling like we can create ourselves expressively in just exactly the manner that we would like to. 
Now, for those of us who that means that we get to slip off all of our clothes and lay down on the couch and watch TV all day and eat Cheetos, that works. Um, for those of us who like to be very active and go outside and bike and hike and and have picnics and do those types of things, that works. This is going to be just a way of expressing yourself in a way that you really enjoy and love on Sunday, Scorpio. Okay, so not really a bad week overall at all. Yay, good for us. I'm so happy. Last week I was not happy with our week at all. <laughs> so this is much better. So for those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, please go ahead and check out my website. Make sure I'm the right reader for you. You can find that at www.amista.info. I -N -F -O. Once you've found out more about me and you're sure that I'm the right reader for you, get a hold of me and we will schedule a session for you shortly thereafter. For everybody else, I will see you next week. Have a good week, everyone. Peace out.